Our next speaker is a very funny guy. This gentleman has taught me so much in the past couple of months being a member of Toastmasters. One, on how to be frugal with my funds, and he has more to say about that. The title of his speech is Pinching Pennies. Pinching Pennies, Michael Trump. When it rains, it rains, it rains, finish for heaven, yeah, yeah. When it rains, it rains, it rains, finish for heaven, whoa. When it rains, finish from heaven, finish from heaven, finish from heaven, you and me. I was surfing the internet one day, and popping out of the internet was a saying from Benjamin Franklin. It's not how much you earn, but how much you save that is important. And when I saw that, I said, wow, my grandfather was off life. When he first came to Hawaii, he was very poor. But because of Penny Pinch, hey, he became rich. So I said, if my grandfather can become rich by Penny Pinching, maybe if I Penny Pinch, maybe I can become rich too. Who knows? Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmaster, and most welcome guests. About seven months ago, I came to work rather early. And that was for one purpose, to pay my rent. And when I checked my checking account balance, I said, holy moly wakamori! Hey, I had only $400 in my checking account. My rent is $600. Do the math. I'm not going to be able to pay my rent with what I have in my checking account balance unless if I transfer the funds from my savings account into my checking account. But if I do that too often, guess what? I'm going to be homeless! <laughs> so what went wrong? <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I've been having breakfast at Honest. It's this little coffee shop across where we have our Toastmasters meeting at. We meet on Saturdays in Oakland. And wow, it is very convenient. Because one hop, wow, I'm in my marketplace or I'm in my meeting place. And on top of that, Honest is famous for making the best blueberry pancakes in the world. Saps this tall, filled with blueberries, saturated with real butter, real maple syrup. It's so smooth. It's like being in heaven, but it's costing me $15 every single Saturday. Then a tiny voice on the right-hand side of my mind said, Michael, it's not wrong to splurge once in a while. I said, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but the fact is that it's costing me $15 every single Saturday. And that's, that adds up, that adds up now uh, at the end of the year to $720, and that's why I can't pay my rent. And on top of that, that $720 at the end of the year, which is $720, with that, I can use that to have huge parties for my family in Hawaii and be the talk of all Hawaii. Mm -hmm. So that's one reason. What's the second reason? Yeah, yeah, Starbucks coffee. That's the culprit, $2.26 a cup. And a tiny voice on the left hand side of my mind said, Michael, $2.26 for the best coffee in the world is chicken I said, yeah, 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 but you know what? That adds up at the ending of the year to $520. And that's why I can't pay my rent. And besides for the $520, I can use that to pay for an airplane trip to apply back and forth to visit my mom, who's 94 years old, and walks faster than me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I came up with the causes why I could not pay my rent. But for the life of me, I couldn't come up with the solution until I met my friend Tom at work. And we had a lunch room eating lunch, and he says, Michael, the solution to your problem is not how much you earn, but how much you save. And he takes his same two bones out of his pocket, and he throws it up, wow, save, save, save. And one of them hit me right on the head, boom. And I took a look at it, and I said, wow, I know the solution to my problem. I need to come up with stringent saving policies in order to pay my rent. So stringent policy number one, 
instead of going to Anna's and having breakfast at $15 at a snap home, I now go across the way to Miracle Bakery in Oakland Chinatown and have breakfast at $2 at a breeze. <laughs> hey, think about the savings here, man. We're talking about $15 to $2. Wow, 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 fantastic savings. You might be saying, but what can you buy for $2 these days? Michael, hey, a lot, a lot, a lot. With $1, you can get yourself a nice cup of coffee, all the refills that you want. With the other dollar, you can get a nice, juicy chicken bun, well seasoned. Mm. Oh, it's so good. And it's better than the blueberry pancakes. Mm. Ah, ah. Scripture policy number one, scripture policy number two, instead of going to Starbucks and buying coffee at $2.20 a cup, I now go to McDonald's and buy senior discounted coffee at 48 cents a cup. And 48 cents of the other end, highly unimaginable savings. But hey, I crave for that wonderful Starbucks coffee. <laughs> it's so wonderful. It perks me up for the rest of the day. So I followed through with those printed policies for two solid months. And at the end of the time, I checked my checking account balance. It was $2,000. I'm not going to be homeless. <laughs> now I can take trips to Hawaii once a year to see my mom who walks faster than me. <laughs> and now, when I travel to Hawaii once a year, I can have a huge fun with my family and be the talk of all Hawaii. So, it's not how much you earn, but how much you save that is important. So, thank you!